Hi, my name is Craig Scroggie. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of NextDC, and I'll be at the VMIA conference talking about cloud security. So cloud computing is probably the greatest revolution that we've experienced in our time. It's the ability for organisations to be able to pay for exactly the amount of computing power that they need and only pay for what they're using. Cloud computing has many advantages. It also has some important uh, items that need to be carefully considered, and that is where the company uh, has its infrastructure hosted and where the information will be stored. In Australia, we have requirements to uh, protect um, personal information. We have regulatory obligations that need to be met, and ensuring that you understand the uh, place that the information will live ultimately means that you need to understand the reporting and the regulatory obligations that you have. The big challenge for government ultimately is, is that it needs to be a leader in this space. But the proposed introduction of data breach disclosure notification legislation will create complexity for enterprise and for government. There are a number of requirements that government has at the federal and certainly at the state level, depending on the type of industry and the, and the category of information that is stored. Personally identifiable information, medical records, gaming information. There are different requirements for different uh, components of government business, and all of those need to be carefully reviewed when it comes to selecting some type of cloud computing provider. When it comes to uh, thinking about the advantages versus the disadvantages, there is no question that the advantages outweigh the disadvantages in cloud computing. We can access more compute power you know, in the palm of our hand today than we have at any other point in time in history. Leveraging the value of the cloud is also enormously important. Organisations can get access to far more compute power than they ever could before at a very, very cheap price. And there is huge benefits of being able to access that scale. But there are a number of issues that that scale creates, and that is, is that information may be stored in other countries. And then that means that governments and others will have their legal rights to that information, and the, the rights that apply to us in Australia um, may become uh, secondary to those uh, jurisdictions where the information ultimately will be stored. So there are many complexities when, when it comes to considering the advantages of cloud computing, but there is no question that the economic model itself far outweighs anything that we've ever had access to previously.